What's up, freaks? This is Steve Says, episode number 55. 55. Some people will hate, but most can relate to the shit we're going to be talking about, especially today. Might ruffle a few feathers, but we're used to that shit. That's just how we roll on Steve Says. We are bringing the fucking fire every second of every second. You have any questions, comments, put them down there in the comments section. Pulling you up here on the second screen, get you rolling live on Steve Says, episode number 50 freaking five. Give you a second to get in there while I take a sip of my Herbalife. So as you saw in the headlines, some people may get pissed off a little bit of what we're going to talk about. We are talking about how you have been lied to your entire life. Basically, were you, were you taught, maybe you were taught wrong your entire life about the world, about life about school, about money, about success, about just everything in life. And it's time you learn the freaking truth. And Steve says is going to give you that truth today about what, it, what it's all about. So basically, it's are, are you stuck in that shell in your life? Are you still worried about what other people think? Are you, are you living like a scared little child, like a scared little B-I-T-C-H? Steve Says is going to break it down for you here in episode 55. Steve Says is a live show on how to have a no excuses, badass mindset guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles preventing success in your health, your family, and your finances so you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own fucking terms. Questions, comments, put them down there in the suggestions or in the comment comment section it's about adapting and overcoming, being a better version of yourself every freaking day, getting your shit together, stop being a little bit, trust the little process, and of course, making no excuses because the invasion is coming and we will, we must defeat the enemy. So here's what it is. All right, this, again, this may piss some people off, ruffle a few feathers, but that's just the way we roll because we don't bullshit. We don't hold shit back on Steve Says. But I'm here to tell you, you have been lied to your entire life. Let that sink in for a second and start thinking about it. Where have you been lied to your entire life? Start thinking about it. You have been lied to your entire freaking life. And it might have come from your own friends or your teachers, your government, your the dictionary, the encyclopedia has lied to you, or even your own freaking parents have been lying to you your entire life. Or maybe teaching you or drilling into your brain the wrong things. Because what, what, what happens when you're a kid and you start being all crazy or acting a little, you know, having fun and just being a kid? And then even as an adult, it happens when you go out with friends or you're at work or wherever the hell we're talking about. And what, is, what does someone say? What does the parents say? The teachers say? The friends say? Cut that out. Would you just act normal? Would you just act normal? Listen, peak freaks, would you just act normal? What does normal mean? First of all, what, what does normal mean? Normal means orderly, regular, routine, typical, average, standard. So let me ask you, let me ask you, answer this for me. Do you want to be orderly? Do you want to be regular? Do you want to be routine? Do you want to be typical, average, ordinary, ordinary? Just let the sound of the word ordinary just makes you want to fucking vomit. Do you want to just be standard? Do you want to be just good enough? Do you want to be normal? Is that what you want to be? You want to be normal? Normal is conforming to the standard of the common type or the usual, not abnormal or regular. That's just, first of all, that just sounds boring as fuck to tell you the truth, but conforming to the standard or common type? Do you think conforming to the standard or common type is going to get you to reach your goals, get you to success or whatever you're looking for, whether it's in your career, your business, in the gym, in athletics, whatever the hell you're talking about. Do you think that conforming to the standard or the the common type or the just the usual is going to get you to where you want to be? The regular, the routine, the orderly, the typical, the fucking ordinary? Do you think being normal is going to get you there? Really? Seriously, ask yourself that question. What else is normal? Serving to establish a standard. A standard. Whose standard? The world's standard? The encyclopedia standard? Your, your parents' standard who have been lying to you probably when you were a kid? 
And sure, you can say, oh, your parents are great, this and that. But in the, in the beginning, it says some people, you know, some people will hate, but most can relate. So I'm pretty sure most of you freaks out there can relate to some of this shit that we're going to be dropping on you today. Some of these fucking bombs, these lies that have been told to you your entire life. I guarantee you most of you are going to be able to relate to this shit. Ordinary. Ordinary from like a psychological standpoint is, is even more off the fucking wall. Or sorry, normal. Normal. Is a, a, a approximately average in any psychological trait as intelligence, personality, or emotional adjustment. That's from a psychological standpoint what normal means. Approximately average in any psychological trait, intelligence, personality, and emotional. Does that... It's disgusting. It's disgusting. So, and I have a very normal visitor coming right now. That's just awesome. A very normal visitor joining me. Just No! Put a thumbs up if you think that this kid is definitely not freaking normal. Put a thumbs up in the comments if you think this kid is not freaking normal. Because he's not. And you know what? He doesn't want to be, and I refuse to let him be normal. Fuck normal. Fuck normal. The other, so that's a lie. That's the lie you're told. One of the lies. We're going to go to many of them from all those different places. Is you need to be normal. Act normal. Act normal. Just act normal. Would you please just act normal? Fuck normal. Normal ain't got nobody shit. Never. Then... The next thing is the struggle, the struggle, the big, bad struggle. So what does struggle mean? Struggle is battle, it's conflict, it's strife, it's attempt, it's exertion, it's clash, conflict, a contest or work. That's what struggle is. So you're taught your entire life that struggle is bad, but, you know, life is just a struggle and, but, you know, don't, it's just the way it is. And you just have to deal with the struggle. Because I got goals. That's why I'm working so late. I have goals. That's why I'm busting my ass in the gym. I have goals. That's why I'm not going out with your loser ass going to drink on a fucking Friday night. Instead, I'm going to go home and eat my grilled chicken and broccoli. And I'm going to maybe do some fucking sit-ups or something while I'm reading a book. How about that? Because I have motherfucking goals. I love the struggle. Embrace the struggle. Search for the struggle. Overcome the struggle. De- defeat the fucking struggle. You're told life is a struggle. You're told, you know, the struggle is... We sucked. It doesn't matter what I did as a player. If I had a decent year, if I got a lot of hits that year, we sucked. We do not deserve a trophy. We don't even deserve a, a trophy this big. Forget about this big fucking trophy monstrous thing they gave us. We do not deserve it. There's, there's a... It was a basketball. There's a, a guy, uh, Andy Frisella, tells this story all the time about the basketball. There's a basketball team. I don't know the details of it. I've heard of, of it from his version, but... There was a basketball team that was what the fuck I'm made of. That's the definition of adversity should be. A true test of the, the fucking human race is what adversity should be. Not all this other shit. So the second you come across this adversity, it's like, oh, it's, you know, that's just a catastrophe. It's a hardship. Poor me. Poor little Johnny. He missed the ball. Poor basketball team that got zero fucking points. But they, you know, they had a lot of adversity they're going through. So it's okay. Let's give them a motherfucking trophy anyway. Fuck no. Fuck no. All different areas, all different directions. The next lie is to just be comfortable. It's, it's I just want to be comfortable. All I'd just be happy as long as you have a comfortable life. A comfortable life? Comfortable? Do you know what comfortable means? Comfortable is the most fucked up, con- might be one of the most fucked up, confused words in, in the dictionary. Comfortable means complacent, but it means convenient. It means pleased and relaxed, but it means soft and sheltered adequate and satisfying and enjoyable like how could it mean those things that's complete opposites almost but it's comfortable just be comfortable just have a make a comfortable living just have a comfortable life comfortable you want to just be comfortable comfortable is being in a state of physical or mental comfort undisturbed at ease and content if you're ever comfortable in your life you're done. You are done. If you ever tell yourself you're comfortable, oh, this is good enough because that's what I've been told. That's what I've been fucking lied to my entire life. Just be comfortable. Just be good enough. Just skate through life doing the bare motherfucking minimum because it's comfortable. I'm comfortable. I just want to be comfortable. I just want to put food on the table. That's all I need to do. Just put food on the table. Put clothes on my kid's back. I just want to be comfortable. 
Of course, those are in the important things. But the second you start telling yourself that, you're going to be stuck. You're never going to exceed, you know, expectations. You're never going to go to that next level of your potential, of where you're meant to be, where you're destined to be, where you fucking should be, where you need to be, and probably where you deserve to be, is, is, is comfortable. But you're comfortable. I'm comfortable. I'm just so comfortable. It's a comf- I have a comfortable life. Fuck comfortable. If you're not uncomfortable, and if you're not used to being uncomfortable, you're never going to get anywhere. And complacent? We already know there's no such thing as plateau. When we talk about diet and nutrition and training, there's no such thing as a plateau. There is no such thing as a plateau. Because... And that just like there's no such thing as comfortable. There's no such thing as that. Because you get complacent. When you, you're just complacent and you're just going to go backwards. You're never going to go forward. If you're not going forwards, you're done. You're done. You're, it's basically death. Staying in the same place is death. Staying in the same place is fucking backwards. Comfortable. I want to just be comfortable. I want to be at ease. And just, just undisturbed in my physical and mental state. I'm just comfortable. I just feel great. Fuck comfortable. The next thing. The next lie that's puked out to you in your life is about the the, the word benefits. Benefits. I need benefits. I need benefits. Benefits, benefits, benefits. Benefits are aid or a perk or a use, prosperity or assistance. But benefits. Go create your own fucking benefits, okay? Create your own benefits. Just create it. Don't wait for the handouts and lead us right into the next one, which is entitled. Don't just wait that you deserve this, that you should be getting this, that this is what you're entitled to. These benefits, benefits, benefits. Motherfucker, dominate your path and stop worrying, stop being normal and fucking comfortable and giving into adversity and, and struggle and then just want all that to give you benefits and entitlement to what you think you deserve for what? For being normal? For being comfortable? You, you deserve to be comfortable and stuck in the same place with your benefits of staying in the same place and your comfort of staying in the same place, and your entitlement of staying in the same motherfucking place. If you don't get over that and start entitling your motherfucking self, benefit your motherfucking self. Create your own benefits. Create your own benefits. What are benefits? Like, it's crazy. Benefit is, is listen to a benefit. One of, the, one of the definitions of benefit is a payment or gift as one made to help someone or given by an employer or an insurance agency, or a public agency. It's a payment or a gift. That's all it is. I want some benefits. Benefits. Because they tie benefits to whatever. A retirement fund, or or medical insurance, or a, a, a car, a work car to use. All it is, is a fucking little gift. A couple hundred bucks. Create your own motherfucking couple hundred bucks by stop being fucking normal! Stop giving into adversity! Stop giving into that shit and thinking that that's what it is because you've been fucking brainwashed by the teachers and the school and and your parents and whoever the fuck else has brainwashed your stupid ass fucking friends that have told you that this is what it is. Create your own benefits. Create your own entitlement. Entitle your own fucking ass to get to where you want to be and where you should be. Instead of waiting for someone to fucking give that shit to you. Make that shit happen is what you need to do. The next one is challenge. 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 Now, we always know every one of these words could be positive or negative. Challenge is an objection. Listen to, listen to what challenge is in, in the dictionary, like the, the other alternative words for challenge. A test, an objection, a threat, a confrontation, defiance, a protest. Those are some fucking, that's a rough ass word. I don't want nothing to do with a challenge, right? No, stay away from challenges. Challenges are uh, objections and threats. It's a threat. A challenge is a threat. It's a confrontation. It's defiance. It's a protest. You have no need for a challenge. Don't don't challenge it. You know, just just go. You know, go with the grain. Don't go against. Don't go against the flow. Just go with it. Just go with it. Fuck that. Just go with it. Search for challenges. Search for them. Seek out fucking challenges. Figure it out. Overcome it. Then you'll have fucking your benefits and your fucking entitlement to yourself because you went and went out to those challenges instead of avoid them because you were told your whole life. That a challenge is a threat or a dare. It's very daring. Oh, it's too risky. It's too risky. Don't do it. It's a risk. It's too risky. Motherfucker, everything's risky. Everything you do is risky. You start your car in the morning, it's a fucking risk. You go to sleep, it's a fucking risk. Anything you do is a risk. Embrace the fucking challenge. Seek out the challenges. And then figure them out. And overcome that motherfucker. Challenges are, 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 are threats and all this other stuff. That's what a challenge is. You're steered away from challenges your entire life. Instead of fucking looking for them head on. The enemy comes charging towards you. 
You chose to run away. Fuck that. Charge straight at that motherfucker. And steamroll. Stop a mud hole in their ass. How about that? Embrace the challenge. Embrace the grind. Embrace the hard work. So you can create your own benefits in your life. Create your own fucking entitlements. Instead of waiting for it to come to you when you've just been coasting and comfortable and complacent. Because the struggle is real. The struggle. The struggle is real. Life is fucking brutal. Life is a struggle. Fuck that. Oh, it's adversity. It's all because I've gone through so much. Little Johnny's gone through so much. Poor little Johnny. Only problem is now little Johnny's fucking 50 years old and still fucking in the same spot of comfortable bullshit. When Johnny could have been boom, 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 way up there. Listen, listen, listen to me right now. It is okay to not be normal. No, right, what, what do we talk about? We talk about normal. We talk about struggle, adversity, comfortable, benefits, entitled, and challenges. Fuck normal. Embrace the struggle. Overcome the adversity. Smash fucking comfortable. Make yourself uncomfortable. Create your own benefits. Create your own entitlement. And em- embrace and seek and destroy the fucking challenges. Because it is okay to be different. It's okay to go against the grain. It's okay to not listen to the lies you've been fucking told your entire life. It's okay to be you. It's okay to be a freak. Wave your motherfucking freak flag and stomp that motherfucker into the ground like the Marines did on the top of Mount Siribachi or they, they did on the moon, which was probably a fake fucking video anyway. But stomp that fucking freak flag into the ground. Be proud of it. Be proud of the crazy, unique, one-of-a-kind motherfucking freak that you are. Because you are fucking awesome. No excuses.